Hey everybody. The other day I was talking about my planted tanks and how they grow so lush. And by the end of the video I had come to the conclusion that one of the things that must be responsible for it is the amount of light I put on my tanks. Now, when it comes to light, there is a difference between quality and quantity. And I do try to put high quality light on my tanks. I'm not going to really get into a discussion about uh, all the ins and outs of lighting and all that in this particular video. But I did buy a lux meter recently just for my own curiosity's sake. I wanted to check on my different plants around the house and how much sunlight was coming in various windows and so on and so forth. And just because I bought it, I may as well use it. And I think this will be a good way to do a good visual demonstration of how much light my tanks are actually getting. Whether you understand what lux uh, actually are or how they impact your plants or anything, doesn't really matter. You'll be able to see the numbers as they compare to uh, one another. I thought of a fairly simple experiment I can set up and just show you visually the difference between what a standard 55 gallon aquarium would get if you just bought the regular hoods that go on it uh, versus the kind of lighting that I have over my 55 gallon aquariums. Now a standard 55 will come with two little hoods like this. They're two foot hoods but if you see the light inside is actually only 18 inches. So a standard 55 gallon aquarium comes with two fluorescent 18 inch tubes and they do not put out very much light. So again, we're going to go ahead and set up a little demonstration. I'm going to show you the difference between that light and the shop light that I use. I put a very low budget shop light from, uh, you can get them pretty much anywhere, Walmart, Home Depot, any place that sells uh, shop lights. I have the high output um, for the high bay uh, application so that it does put out even more light than a standard shop light but it is a four foot LED shop light that I paid less than thirteen dollars for so let's go ahead and set that experiment up and we'll have a look at the differences between the two all right everybody here we are in a fairly dark part of my basement so we won't have any outside light affecting the test I just set up a couple of buckets I put a standard fixture that you would find on one half of a 55 gallon tank that is a two foot fixture but keep in mind, as I've already said, the light inside, the tube itself, is actually only 18 inches. Now, keeping in mind that it is a fluorescent light, I have had it on for about 20 minutes now, just to ensure that it is up to full brightness and full temperature. So here is my PAR meter. We're going to go ahead and get that turned on. I'm sorry, my LUX meter. I keep calling this a PAR meter. Uh, if you hear me refer to this as a PAR meter, I'm not correct on that. This is a LUX meter. So we are going to position it directly under the light dead center and we are looking at about 1200 lux so we're now going to set it up with my shop light on this and this platform here is about 10 inches away from the light so this sensor is slightly closer than that but it doesn't matter because it's going to be in the exact same position for both tests and all we're trying to do is get a comparison so that is pretty stable at just over 1200 lux so hang on a minute let me get the other uh, shop light set up and we'll see what that puts out okay i had to reposition the buckets a little bit to get it wide enough to really get the full scope of that four foot wide light That is times 10. It's 5,600 lux. So we went from a little over 1,200 to almost 6,000, or we'll call it 5,500 just to round it down for sake of argument. So there you go. Now we can go around. Obviously, we can't look at any of the tanks that have, you know, hoods on them, but all of my tanks that have lights hanging over them, we can go around and get a good idea of what we're dealing with with those. All right, everybody. This is my 40-gallon Purple Spotted Gudgeon tank, and over it I have one of these Cree LED floodlights. I think it's 19 watts or 16 watts, something like that. Very low wattage, but it puts out a lot of light. Of course, it's an LED, so that's what they're known for. 
But this one is more focused than the shop light, which is designed to spread light out over a large area. This, in a way, is because it is a floodlight, but I've got it so close to the plants that you might be surprised at how much light that is actually putting on those plants. So I've already measured it, and the top of this plant is almost exactly 16 inches away from the light source. And at 16 inches away from the light source, that is times 10. So that is 13,000 lux that we are getting right here. Now, keep in mind, if we come right over to here, closer to the surface of the water, we're now down to 2,000, 2,300. If we get closer to the light source, we're up 23,000 now, 25,000, and that's about... 10 inches away from the light so it gets much higher much more quickly when you get closer to a light source uh, or further away uh, light actually loses its intensity exponentially so every time you double the distance you quarter the intensity so again being out here not only are we not directly under the light but we're actually further away from the light source than being directly under it so both of those things play a role and that's why these tanks are so well lit right in the middle and not so much around the edges now of course if we were able to measure the lux underwater down here you know we'd be in a very very different situation how much light these plants are getting but just to give you an idea of superficially that's what we've got I think it was 13,000 or somewhere in that neighborhood yeah 13,000 lux right there so that's one open top tank We've got this one, same light, same sort of basic setup, except this one's hanging much closer to the tank. And this one is putting 27,000 lux, because that's times 10. So we're about 26, 27,000 lux right near the surface of the water. And I did have my knuckles in the water when I was doing that test, so we were that close to the water. So that gives you an idea how much light these lights put out now I have spoken many times about this monstrosity up here that puts out crazy amounts of light now we were talking about distances of you know 15 inches 16 inches something like that this is probably closer to I don't know 36 inches 35 inches somewhere around in there we're a couple of feet away from the light by now and we are at 13,000 lux all the way out here, not even dead center in front of it. So if we were to go dead center, timed out on me. So if we were to go dead center, and I'm going to say that's roughly 15 inches, 18 inches away, we are at, that's times 100. 60,000 lux. Now again, we're fairly close to the light here. We're, you know, 15 inches away. But at 15 inches away, we're at 65,000 lux, I think it jumped up to when I moved it a little closer. So that gives you an idea of what we're talking about. If we come all the way down here, that's still times 10. So you're still talking about over 7,000, 7,300, 7,400. So at that distance, you've still got over 7,000 lux hitting it. Whereas with a 55 gallon tank that you would buy with a traditional 55 gallon, you know, light setup on it, at 10 inches away, I think we were at like 1200 lux or something like that and at this one at about four feet away you're looking at you know over 7,000 lux and of course when we get to light you know anything that's closer to that we're back up to 15,000 so that gives you a pretty good idea of how much light I'm really cranking out on my tanks even this tank down here that's sort of residually lit. And I do have 
this one turned on at the moment. So again, same light as the other ones. I just spray painted this one brown so it's not so obvious. And I'm really close to it right here. I'm only about eight or nine inches underneath of it. But we're looking at 35,000, 34,000 lux at, you know, a foot away. So this tank down here on the bright edge is still getting 2,500. So all the way down here with no actual light of its own, it's only getting the bleed over light from all of this stuff, even that is still twice the amount of light that a standard 55 gallon hood would put out at 10 inches away. So maybe that might help put things into perspective as to how I get my tanks to grow so lush and beautiful. I've got one of these uh, same LEDs right here, I've got another one right there, and then I've got one of those shop lights right there. So think about how much light that's going into that tank compared to what you would typically get with uh, what came with this tank was two three-foot fixtures and each fixture had a two-foot tube in it so I had two two-foot fluorescent tubes lighting this entire 125 gallon tank compared to what I've got on there now so there you go I definitely think uh, as far as trying to figure out why my tanks are so lush and green, the enormous amount of light I put on them is, uh, you know, probably the answer. And remember, you can't just jam this much light on your tanks all of a sudden or it will really uh, wreak havoc on, especially on these. I've got, you know, Java Fern, Java Moss, Anubias, all this stuff is considered low light plants. And if you were to just slap a shop light on your tank after having standard lighting on there, uh, your plants would go through quite a shock. Uh, one of the channels I actually like to watch uh, is called Growing Answers, and I'm happy to say they watch my videos as well. And he responded to me saying that he actually upped the light on his crypt not too long ago, just by a little bit, and all of his crypt promptly melted so if you want to watch videos that deal more with lights and lighting and grow lights and stuff like that, I'll put a link to his channel down below. He's got lots and lots of information about uh, lights and light spectrums and PAR and PPFD and all that kind of stuff that I'm always reluctant to get into because it's tangentially related to what I do here, you know, keeping fish and everything. But it's just too easy to get down into the weeds with, you know, talking about light and lighting and grow lights and stuff like that. So I generally leave that to other people. But I did want to just give a good visual representation today of just how brightly lit my tanks are. You know, it's got a lot more to do with just how it looks to me than, you know, just visually being brightly lit. I actually am cranking the light in there for uh, the, the, uh, plants and I'm not going to get started on it today, but I also will say that, um, if I haven't mentioned it yet already, the quality of the light that I put on these plants is also really important because I use a really high quality light. So quantity and quality are both important values in, uh, plant lighting and grow lighting. But as I said, check out that link down below if you're interested in that kind of stuff and you can check out the growing answers, uh, YouTube channel. He's got a lot of good stuff on there, and I think you'll enjoy it. So thanks for watching this one. I hope that was helpful or enlightening or something for somebody. And I will see you real soon on the next one.